In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to write linear equations using point-slope form. Now, first I want to introduce what is point-slope form. And this is the general formula we used for point-slope form. It's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And basically, this is just a different way to write the equation of a line. It's nothing new. It's similar to y equals mx plus b. It's just a different format. Now I want to dissect what the different parts mean, and then I'll look at some examples. So m, as always, is the slope of the line. And we still calculate slope the same way we always do. We have our lovely y1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so if we ever have two points, that's how we would still calculate the slope of the line. Now x1, y1 is special. This is a point on the line. This is a point on the line, and this is any point on the line. When we have slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we have to have the y-intercept in order to write this equation. In point-slope, we just need any point that's on the line. So that's going to make it nice for us. Now, like before, I would ask the question, what two things do you need to write the equation in slope-intercept form? And the answer was slope, intercept, slope and y-intercept. Now, for this one, what two things do you need to write the equation in point-slope form? Again, mathematicians aren't very creative. So if I'm looking at point-slope form, it tells me what I need. The first thing I need is I need a point, a point on the line hence point. And the second thing I need is I need the slope. See a common theme here. We need the slope for point slope form. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of just writing an equation in point slope form. So write an equation in point slope form for a line whose slope is 3 and point is 1, 5. So as soon as I see point slope form, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the equation. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So this is the form I'm going to be using. And so again, the two things I need is I need the slope and I need a point. Luckily in this problem, I'm given those things. Now before I start putting anything into the form, I want to do some labeling. So my m is 3 x is x1, 5 is y1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug everything into the formula. So y minus y1, 5 equals 3 times x minus x1, which is 1. Now nothing needs simplified, and that's it. y minus 5 equals 3 times x minus 1. This is point slope form. Let's try another example. So write an equation in point slope, point slope form for a line with m of 1 half and the point negative 2, negative 3. So again, whenever I see point slope form, I'm going to write out the formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So again, I'm going to label. I've got my slope already labeled for me. I've got y, oh, not at y1, let's fix that. This is x1, <clears throat> this is y1. So let's plug it into our formula. So y minus y1 negative 3, and we're going to put parentheses around the negative 3, equals m 1 half x minus x1, which is negative 2. Now here, I'm not completely done. I want to do some simplifying. If you remember, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So I want to simplify this to be y plus 3 equals 1 half x plus 2. Now this is completely simplified and in point slope form. Now here's an example. I want you to pause the video and write the equation of the line in point slope form. So hopefully you've paused the video 
and you've worked it out. Let me show you the solution to this problem. So I'm writing an equation in point slope form, and I know that as soon as I see point slope form, I'm going to write out the formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so what I'm going to do again is label. So I have x1 is 4, y1 is negative 1, and I'm going to plug in my values. So I have y minus negative 1 equals negative 5 fourths times x minus 4. Now again, minus a negative, we're going to simplify that. y plus 1 equals negative 5 fourths times x minus 4. Now if you're one of my math students, if you leave it as minus a negative, I am taking points off of your test. So you have to simplify this. I want to see some pluses here. Okay, so just a heads up. Now the next type of problem I want to look at is I'm going to give you an equation in point slope form. And what I want you to do from this is I want you to tell me what is a point on the line and what is the slope. So this is my formula and I'm going to write out the original. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And I'm going to use this to match up what is what. So the first thing I notice right here is that my m is 3. m equals 3. So that was the first half of the question is to find m. The second part is to find a point on the line. Now since this is point slope form, it tells me a point that is on the line. So if I look here, y minus 2, y minus y1, this tells me that y is 2. That's our y sub 1. Next thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to look for my x sub 1. So again, I'm looking up here. Now if you remember just a little bit ago, when we have minus a negative, we need to simplify this to be a plus. So that means, I'll do a little rewriting, this is the same thing as x minus negative 4. That means that x sub 1 is negative 4. So this is my point on the line, negative 4, 2, and I pull that directly from the equation, and my m is 3. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video and from this equation here, I want you to determine what is the slope and what is a point on the line. Again, hopefully you paused the video, but I'm going to go ahead and write out the solution. So since I'm talking point slope form, let me start by writing out my original problem. So I've got this function. And I'm going to write out my form, point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I'm going to do some matching. The easy one to pick out is I know that my slope is negative 2. I also know that since this is minus minus, that means my x sub 1 is 9. Now y sub 1 is going to be a little different here, just like in our last example. So I'm looking up, I see a plus 1. I can rewrite this as y minus negative 1. That means that y sub 1 is negative 1. And that is a point on the line, and this is our slope. Now this is just a brief introduction to point slope form. How do we plug it in, and how do we get a point and a slope from the equation?